Lock and Low Tactical, Under the Claw. You can see near Air Corps, France, September 19th, 1944, in an effort to halt General Patton's Third Army. So basically this takes place at Air Corps, in Lorraine. Basically a bunch of German tanks attacking uh, some uh, mixed Combat Command A or Alpha. I didn't think they called them Combat Command Alpha, but I'll have to check into that. Okay, start for shaky cam. I'm leaning over. Let's get to see the board. <clears throat> okay, I um, think we got a little bit better uh, stable stand here. Maybe bounce around a little bit, but um, we got a Stug, a three and a four, and two fives. Panthers. I'm supposed to have two other fives, but I don't see them in the, the kit anywhere, so I'm going to have to uh, tell you about that in just a minute. But this whole group here of German tanks have to go, basically at the end of the six turns, a vehicle has to be in this this hex over here, and Americans have to be clear of that hex and these two hexes. And there are no German infantry. I've never played a scenario like this for lock and load. Um, so there's that. So again, a Stug 3G, a Panzer 3, a Panzer 4, and a two Panthers. Coming in from the east in turn one, so and on these on board fourteen, we have another two fives, two so two Panthers, a four, a three, and a Stug. Coming in here again, the objective of the Germans clear that out. The Americans have two M four A ones, an M ten, and a second M ten with a, a leader. So my first time using a armored leader. We also have a hero with a bazooka and a foxhole. And a 164 with the bazooka. And I noticed a, a, yeah, I just now realized, and they have a bar with a hero. That leader really probably needs to get with one of the bazookas. And I don't know if that leader can help with that to hit on that or not. I'll have to look at that. And then over here is the command headquarters. There is a 57 millimeter anti tank gun in there with a crew, a leader. And uh, once an 054, an 054 in the building with a bazooka, and a 164. Really, I don't know why the Americans, now that I've read everything closer, really the Americans, the, the personnel should probably just big back here because it's, it's really hard for tanks to get rid of personnel out of buildings. So let me kind of snake my way back. I think with that, th and so there's fog, and so you can't see, you can, anything past three hexes, so in hex four and further, there's a hit penalty, to hit penalty, and in in the whole game, you can't use a um, target acquisition marker, so. All right, well, my phone's now saying I have low power, so let's uh, plug it in while I play the first turn. <laughs> 